What's up guys? I guess if you're watching this, you've probably got a Coolster 125 that needs some uh, carburetor adjustment. So here's your carb right here. This is your carb. And you've got some needles on here. These adjustment needles are, this is your air fuel mixture. Usually the air fuel mixture is right near the air cleaner. Uh, and then this is your idle speed adjustment screw. And sometimes this will have a spring around it. It just depends. Uh, each, these all get, I've got two of these four-wheelers. And uh, they've got different carbs on them. They're real similar, but they're different. So anyway, we this is air fuel mixture. This is idle speed. So what we want to do to adjust this carb is first you want to start it up and get it idling as best you can and let it warm up some. It needs to be kind of operating temperature for this to really work. And then what you want to do is you kind of want to set these. These This should come set from the factory, but what you can do is you can screw it all the way in and you'll feel some resistance. You don't have to smash this into the seat or anything, okay? Um, there's mine's in, so screw it all the way in and then back it out two full turns. So there's a half turn, it's one turn, two turn. Is that two? Yeah, I think that's two. We'll find out. So there's, I backed that out two turns. So now what I'm gonna do, we're assuming it's already nice and warm. Our air, uh, you want your air cleaner to be clean. You want the choke, choke's on the other side. Uh, you want the choke to be off and then we're gonna start it up and uh, we're gonna adjust our idle here. Okay, the idle speed. So if it's, if it's low, we're gonna dial it up a little bit. If it's high, we're gonna dial it back here. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is once you get the idle nice, idling easily with this screw here, we're gonna dial this screw in until the RPMs climb to reach their peak RPM. Okay, we're gonna go, you'll feel it, you'll, you'll, you'll feel it, you'll, you'll hear it, you'll sense it. You'll hear it, it's gonna climb and then it's gonna start to fall off again. So once you get, it starts falling off, dial it back so that you're staying kinda of in that peak RPM range. And then we're gonna, once it gets there, we're gonna adjust our idle speed here. And you can goose the throttle a couple times and see where you're at and you may have to fine tune it some more. But that's basically it. All the way in, then two full turns out, start it up, let it idle. Find your idle speed with the idle screw. Once you find your idle speed with the idle screw, you wanna fine tune the air fuel coming into your carb. So you're gonna use this screw. You're gonna find peak RPM, let it peak out, and uh, leave it there. And then you'll adjust your idle speed again with this. And then you just bounce back and forth until it's where you want it to be. So let's see what we've got. Alright, so it's idling pretty good. So let's see what the throttle does. Eh, that's not bad. No, it's kind of dying out on me. Yeah, I don't like that. It's a little boggy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this in to get those peak RPMs. And it's probably not going to peak through the roof. Here's mine. They're kind of climbing just ever so slightly. Hear it? A little pickup. Now it's dying. I'm going to bring it back. Right in there. Let's see what the throttle does. There it is. Nothing to it. If you wanted to increase the idle speed, that's a little high for my liking. Everybody's got their own wheelhouse that's a little high for me I like it somewhere in there and if you wanted to adjust it some more let's try let's let's go in a little bit see if we can find that peak rpm nice and slow we're kind of at it it's gonna start falling off yeah, it's falling off, so we're going to bring it right back to where I had it. Hear it picking up. Picking up. Let's check that throttle. Now these are cheap Chinese four-wheelers, so the throttle response isn't, you know, we're not riding them. Thank <laughs> you. 
like I said, if you want to go up, you want to go down, and then you just play with it. If you can do that, your kid will think you're a combustion engine wizard. And they'll tell all your kids, all the kids at school, how neat their daddy is. Or their mommy, whoever's doing this. All right, then. Take it easy. Be safe with your kids.